You know, Funkies is more than a catered event. It's an experience. And here with a preview of tomorrow night's wine dinner, Jaron Dunham, Funkies uh, COO and Chef Amy Main as well. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate you guys so much. And this is not just a one-time dinner experience. This is something you're doing at different times in different locations. And is it for strictly people who are like really wine connoisseurs who know every little yeah. thing or can people who know nothing about wine come out and enjoy as well? Absolutely, it, it's, it's, it, it's open to everybody. Yeah. Um, and what we try to do is during the slower months for us, which is January, February, March, yeah. we actually try to get back to what our real passion is, which is food. Yeah. And this gives us the opportunity to be able to create some relationships with local vendors, to be able to supply some of the different wines. It allows us to be able to create it like Amy's doing right now and smoking some trout, to be able to offer those different, uh, different dishes and different courses with different wines. I did not and mean to get distracted by what's I, happening I, I, over I'm there. That was happen. <laughs> but you're, I'm distracted. I'm, I'm, I'm like a cat with a laser pointer. I, I need it. to know what's going on Shiny over object. there. What? <laughs> so so, so that's, what we have here yeah. is a rainbow trout that we actually slow poached in olive oil, okay. and then we're just hitting it with a cold smoke that's going to finish it off, give it a nice smoky flavor. What are you putting on top of what the, where the flame was? So I'm actually just putting out the flame. Putting out the fire. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what, are, what sort of magic is happening? We don't want the fire. We don't want to smoke, 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 yeah, smoke yeah. out the entire. Uh, That's a pro move right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. We so play with fire a lot. So, so. You're, you're, it's a cold smoke. Yes. Okay. So this isn't going to actually cook the trout at all. It's just going to add and impart flavor to it. Oh wow. So I've actually cooked the trout, and now we're just adding that nice smoky flavor, and we'll add a little tent to it at the end of the dish. You know, it, it, it's so interesting that you're doing something like that because I feel like when people think of funkies, they think something a little bit different, maybe something they haven't seen before. Do you guys love doing that kind of thing? Oh, uh, we. You know, one of the things that's a passion for us is food, obviously. And uh, when we do lots of weddings and different corporate events stuff, yeah. um, there are set menus that we use and. People People order off of those. This just gives us uh, the opportunity to be as exciting and, and sort of do some different stuff that we don't necessarily have the opportunity to do throughout the year. Right? Sure. So it gives Amy and her staff the opportunity to be creative. They get all riled up. They get, oh, what are we going to do with this? They get the you know, brain trust going and they start figuring out what different menu items they're going to work with and stuff. And it gives us an opportunity to provide back to a lot of our staff, regulars and people that are new just to experience what we're doing. Because you don't have to be invited to this event. You can just get on our website, yeah. see when the next wine dinner is going to be, sign up and have tickets and come, and then you get to experience it. Because most of the things that we do are like weddings and corporate events that you're sure. part of a organization or an event. So this opens up the doors for people to, to explore and, uh, and, and you know, explore some of the th things we do. So. Let's get more into the event itself, because a as you mentioned, I think a lot of people have been to an event around town where you know, Funky's been out there and ate the food. Like, well, this is really great. But they may not realize that you have not just one location, but a couple of different venues that are sort of your places. Let's oh. talk about there and uh, talk about those and that the wine dinners are going to take place at some of those. So um, we have four different venues across the city. Yep. Uh, the first one we started with was Powell Crosley's uh, Pinecroft Mansion over in Mount Airy. My favorite. Kipling Avenue. You like that one? Yeah, that, yeah. Was our first, uh, that was our first go at having venues. And yep. Uh, we learned a lot, and uh, there was an, it was uh, it was a fun experience, and it's been a fun experience. We really love partnering with the uh, Cincinnati Preservation Association, who owns the building. Yeah, um, we then bought the uh, transept, which is down at twelve oh five on Elm Street uh, in Washington Park. Um, and that we really enjoy working out of because it's a 20,000 square foot old church that was built in 1874. Yeah. Got a lot of character. So much beautiful yeah, architecture absolutely. Right love there. doing it. Yep. Um, and then we took over the old celestial of Mount Adams. And now we've created that and, and actually it's called The View. And obviously the reason is The View is awesome, you know. right. <laughs> um, and then we just took over another place called the Centennial Barn over in um, and Hartwell over near Wyoming, and uh, we're now in the process of trying to get that up and running as another venue. But we do use the view and transit primarily for the wine dinners. Um, for the uniqueness of the architecture of the buildings, obviously the view, the combination in terms of size, yeah. uh, our ability to be creative and cook things on the floor in front of people, uh, it allows us to be really creative when it comes to the experience for people. Now I know the, the wine dinner is sold out uh, coming up this next one. Mm -hmm. Talk about when people can find out about attending one of these in the future? Right, so the one in February is on February 24th. Okay. That's going to be an Italian wine dinner. Uh, that'll be at The View again as well, too. And then the next one after that is March 25th, and that is going to be a fun one as well, too. That's going to be Pinot Noir from Oregon. Oh, so okay. it's a small little boutique wineries that we're going to bring in that people may or may not have heard of before, and uh, we'll pair that up with some great food. Pinot Noir is wonderful to be able to do with food, and especially seafood and salmon and stuff. Perfect. That'll all be on our website. Uh, we're going to get through the one tomorrow night, and then we'll put uh, information up on the website starting uh, next week, and people can sign up there. It's all through Eventbrite. So you go there, click on the dot, go to Eventbrite, buy your tickets, and you're good to go. We you get an email, go. and we're set, and we're all set. All right, and off we go. I'm going to get Amy on.
leave you the last word though. So you finished it off so with? This is uh, our finished product. So like we were saying, we have our olive oil poached trout that's on top of a nice mix of winter greens topped with a little bit of fresh lemon juice and good olive oil. And then we did a four week, four minute, four minute garlic honey and then topped it all off with a little bit of pickled apple for crunch and just a little bit of micros to make it look beautiful. Sounds great. And the borson is a citrus mm -hmm. borson. And this is our citrus borson that we make in house. Yeah. Looks great, smells great. We'll get all the information you need in case you want to taste it for yourself. Local12.com. Thanks for coming in, guys. We well, appreciate it. We appreciate it. Have those. Thank you. Uh, 953. We'll be right Rude back. Yeah. Rude 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 Rude. There you go. <laughs>